after you But if you style me, me, I come after you Now I'm gonna invest my money in your tech book Hello friends, welcome back to the Beauty and Things If this is your first time here, my name is Lisey Okay, so people are always asking me Okay, I'm vegan, let me start off with that I'm vegan and people are always saying like, what do you eat? Like, isn't that boring? Do you just eat beans all day? Like, no. And first of all, I really don't even like beans all the time. When I first became vegan, I did eat a lot of beans. But now, no, not so much. So we're like, what do you eat? And I want to try it, but I don't know what's cooked. And it just seems like it's going to be boring every day. Well, for me... One, if it's a meal that I used to eat all the time, I substitute, use different things to substitute the meal. Like with vegans, for those of you that don't know, we don't eat anything from an animal. So no dairy and no meat. So pretty much a lot of vegetables so and fruits. And so, um, and I don't really eat a lot of bread. I eat bread sometimes, but not really. So I'm going to start making meals for you guys that want to go vegan but just don't know what to do so my first meal i'm gonna make today i'm gonna show you how to make if you're like just starting going vegan and you just feel like i have to have meat with everything i've ran into people like that they have to have meat with every meal they eat if you're one of those people you can start off with like they call them like the fake meats they're like the vegan meats and they're all, they're meat, but it's made out of, plant, it's plant-based, pretty much. And they're pretty good. Like, the chicken really tastes like chicken. Well, to me, it really tastes like chicken. Um, Pretty much all of it, kind of. I mean, some may have, like, a slight difference. But for the most part, it tastes the same. So, I'm going to start off with a simple meal. And it's really, it's a quick meal for when you just want to hurry up. So, it's corn kale and the vegan chicken and it's gonna be delicious so let's start the video let's go down to the kitchen and start okay let's get started so i'm about to i poured in the corn not about to poured in the corn which is frozen corn it's the bag of that was the actually the Publix brand but I normally don't even use frozen vegetables or eat them because I don't like the way they taste for the most part. Some I do. It just depends. But the corn is normally good. Um, I'm going to steam the corn so I'm only putting one fourth cup of water in there. If you want it to be boiled, broiled, whatever. Boiled, broiled, however you say it. Um, you can put more. And this is the, the Earth Balance. It's vegan butter. And I use that to um, put in there instead of using real butter because, like I said, we don't eat anything from animals. So, but this butter, it tastes just like regular butter. So, you really not miss anything. Most of the stuff that I'm telling you about, it tastes exactly the same. It's just plant-based. That's it. It's not disgusting. It's really good. That's why I want you guys to try it because it's, it's just really good. Um, but, yeah. So, just adding more butter. And I don't really season it. I put like a little pepper for seasoning. That's about it because it's already buttery and I just add a little more butter. So that's just a little pepper in that container that I'm drizzling over the corn. And um, now I think I'm just going to mix it up a little bit so it's just not on top. And then two, I know that when you're steaming corn, a lot of people just leave it there and just let it do its thing. But for me, I like to keep stirring it and just leave it for a little bit so there that is the coconut oil that I'm using and I for the most part I don't use like vegetable oil or anything I just use coconut oil because it gives the food more flavor and that's what I love the most the flavoring like you can taste it oh it's so good but um yeah but sometimes I do use extra virgin olive oil as well and um, yeah, that's good too. So for those of you that don't know about coconut oil, when it's in a cool temperature or even room temperature, it it gets in this this um texture like it's kind of hard. 
So right now I'm just trying to melt it down so that it can oil the pan. And that is the brand of chicken I'm gonna be using. It's the brand name is Gardein. And Gardein, they have a lot of different um, meat substitutes. And they have like chicken, fish, just all types of stuff. So this right here that I got are the actual chicken strips. And they're good. Um, so what you want to do before you, well, you just like regular chicken, you might want to uh, like unthaw it first before you cook it. But then again, you can do it frozen. You can cook the meat frozen. Like right here, this is actually frozen. I didn't even unthaw this actually. But I think you just cook it down to like 11 or 12 minutes. But either way, you'll know when it's done. If it's cold, if it's frozen, you'll, even if you know how to cook, like you'll know it's not done or when it's done it's really already done but you're kind of heating it up like you know some meats that are already cooked and with this particular one it came with this teriyaki sauce and it's sweet it's tangy it's really delicious like sometimes i leave this meat bare and i use the sauce for something else it's really good so here i'm just drizzling over the sauce and i'm gonna cook cook the chicken in the sauce but make sure the chicken is cooked all the way through before you put that sauce on because if you don't your sauce will start to burn even though this is a non-stick um pan like yeah your sauce will straight burn even if you put it on one put the um heat on one it will it's gonna burn it so be very very careful just make sure you cook the chicken first and then put the sauce over it and kind of just heat up the sauce or whatever so um and also another thing i didn't say the chicken will turn like this golden golden color so that's another indication that it's finished and, and done so here i'm just kind of like cooking it through with the sauce and just getting it getting it nice and soaked because i'm a sauce queen i love different sauces on stuff so yeah let's go with the kale now let's start with it okay so um, right now i'm chopping up the kale kale is one of my favorite vegetables and as you can see i'm just chopping it up i tried to chop it up like i was a chef at one point but it didn't work and also you want to separate the stem because like it's it, i don't like the stem in the middle with it i just separate it so here i'm just really sauteing it and i cook it down until it's like this really pretty green color and make sure you i put garlic powder here but i put a whole bunch of different um seasonings which i will list below and and here's the finished product okay guys it's motivational quote time you guys know i like to leave off with a quote so sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just show up. So in other words, don't be so hard on yourself. Just do the best you can do. Until next time, I love you. Thanks for watching, guys.